Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I created this Ice Dragon Queen look in partnership with Spirit Halloween. Real quick if you don't already know, Spirit Halloween is a one-stop shop that offers costumes, accessories, and exclusive decor you won't find anywhere else. They also have a nice selection for everyone from infants, children, teens, to adults. They provided me with the items to create this look, so let's get right into it. So I'll be starting off with this Dragon Latex Appliance Kit. It comes with three latex pieces, two water activated paints, and spirit gum. First, place the appliance on your face and mark off where you'd like to trim so that it fits comfortably on your face, and then repeat with each piece. Next, we're going to take the spirit gum and a makeup sponge that you don't mind ruining, and apply the spirit gum along your forehead. You want to tap on the spirit gum so that it gets tacky before you apply the latex. Place it down where you like, and then go back in with the spirit gum around the edges, tapping again, and then set it down. Repeat the same steps with the cheek pieces. Next, we're going to use this Cool Tones palette and use the two blue shades on the ends and use it to sort of contour. The lighter blue will go on the high points, the cheekbones, and we're going to bring that down a bit. The center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin. Even though we're a dragon, we're still going to contour on top of the appliance. So we're going to blend the darker blue under the lighter blue to sculpt those cheekbones and then take it around the whole forehead and into the hairline. Now for the fun part, or at least I think so, we're gonna take the water activated paints that come in the dragon kit and use the light shimmery blue on all of the raised bits of the appliance, on all the bumps and horns. This is kind of highlighting them. We wanna emphasize the texture and the depth. So we're also gonna create the shadows in the deeper parts. I'm taking a dark blue water activated paint, but you can also use a matte shadow too. Anything that doesn't have shimmer for this portion because we don't want light reflecting off of the shadows. And basically follow the pattern of the appliance, painting the dark blue in all of the crevices and pockets. Then do the same thing on the other side and the forehead. I like this part because the pattern is already in the latex appliance, so it acts like a guideline as to where to paint. Now, in order to soften the edges where we cut the appliance and help blend it into the skin, I went in with my detail brush and extended the pattern beyond the latex. So I basically copied the same pattern and drew it outside the lines of the latex on my own skin and tried to not go in a perfect line. So I'm basically just creating little circles and ovals and it's okay to be messy here because you don't want it to look too perfect. And then, of course, paint it in like we did before, highlighting with the light blue shimmer paint from the Dragon Kit, and then use a dark blue for where the crevices would be. And then I'm going to go back in with that dark blue cream paint to darken the sides of the bridge of the nose, and of course, blending that in. Then go underneath the tip of the nose and underneath the lip. Now I'm taking a matte blue eyeshadow just to go over those contour areas, just to help bring that out a little bit more. Now I'm going to take some white from this black and white paint kit and I'm just going to use this on the more raised bits like the horns and some random bumps. And this is just some extra highlight to emphasize the bigger bumps. You can be as detailed as you want with this. I personally like these little details because I think they help bring the look together, but it's up to you. I'm also going to use a bit of the white to highlight my nose, so I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose and then a thin line down the bridge of my nose and of course blending that in. Moving on to eyes, finally. So I'm priming my eyes with an eye primer, but you can use concealer or anything you want to use. So I'm taking a matte blue eyeshadow and I'm just putting that all over the lid basically and blending it into the nose contour. Then I'm taking the same eyeshadow onto the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this blue glitter eyeshadow, smearing it on my finger, and then patting that on my eyelids. I also went over that with another blue eyeshadow just to fill in any gaps. Next, I used these Lux eyelashes on my top lashes. First, I placed them on my eye just to measure them, and then I trimmed off what I wanted. And normally, I trim off from the outer part, but I didn't want to trim off those long lashes at the end, so I trimmed off from the inner corner. But just be careful with that, because you don't want them to poke you. Then I went in with a black liner along the band. I also used a white eyeliner in my water lines. I was really excited about these glitter eyelashes, so I decided to put them on my bottom lash line. 
and I placed it at a bit of an angle so that the inner corner was a bit below the lash line because I knew I was about to draw an inner wing. And I'm just using that same white paint from earlier to do that. I decided to use a blue lipstick and I'm just blending that into my lips. You could really use any lip color that you think would go with this. I think a white or a nude would also look nice. And I'm not doing anything special for brows, so you can just go ahead and do your regular brow routine. I'm just filling mine in with a pencil. Now this part is optional, I was given two sets of the dragon kit so I decided to take the two cheek pieces from the second set and I placed them on my collarbones. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same steps as the face and contour with that dark blue paint, highlight with the light blue paint, and then go back in with the water activated paints to highlight and shadow the bumps and crevices in the latex appliance, and extending the pattern onto my chest. Now moving on to costume, I'm going to be wearing this medieval curls wig, also from Spirit Halloween. And they also provided me with this white corset, so I put it on top of a long sleeve white shirt that I already had. And that is basically the final look! If you want to recreate this look, you can find the products I used at your local Spirit Halloween. And if you want to find a store near you, you can visit spirithalloween.com. They were also nice enough to give you guys a 20% off coupon, so you could also check that out in the description, and thank you so much for watching!